guys, welcome back. I thought this video would just be a nice sit down chat video. And as you can see in the title below, this video is me just explaining how I got into my performing arts school and just the whole audition process and what I had to prepare and everything. And I thought I'll share it all with you guys because maybe some of you are looking into auditioning for performing arts school and you just want to know the whole process. However, this video is in no means telling you how to get into a performing arts school. This is just my personal experience of how I got into my performing arts school. And so if you want to know how I got into my performing arts school, please keep watching. And so the performing arts school that I went to is called the Italia Conti Academy of Theatre Arts. And I auditioned when I was 16 and I auditioned without any singing, dancing or acting training whatsoever. Sometimes I think, how did I get into Conti? But obviously they saw something in me. And that's why now I'm a Conti graduate and I auditioned for the three year musical theatre diploma course. I'll tell you about this other performing arts school that I auditioned for and it's called Tring Park. I auditioned there before I auditioned for Conti. I auditioned for Tring Park because it is literally five minutes down the road from where my parents live. And so I was like, convenient, I think so. And so I auditioned there and that was something. And that something was bad. It was bad. It was just really, really bad. I don't think I was prepared enough for this audition. And also the material that I chose just did not suit me. So that's some tips. Be prepared for your audition and choose the right material. Choose the material that will suit you, that really showcases you off. Because if you don't, you just look really shit in front of the audition panel. And that's what happened to me. And oh, it, was just, it was just really bad. And so the next one I actually did prepare for. And the next school that I auditioned for was Italia Conti. It was actually my sister's dance teacher that suggested I audition there because she teaches there. So I get my audition and my audition slot and I get all the information and basically what I need to prepare for the audition. It may have changed now, but I don't know. I haven't really looked into the auditions at the moment, but back in 2016, this is what I had to prepare. And so what I had to prepare was two songs, one musical theatre song and one song of your own choice, two contrasting monologues, two dance solos. I had to choreograph by myself. I think it was like roughly a minute to a minute and a half long each of them. And so that's basically what I had to prepare. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, let's crack on with this. That we can do it, I can do this, let's do this. And so how I prepared for the dance, because obviously, like I said, I had no singing, dancing or acting training before I started at Conti. And so I actually took some private lessons with my sister's dance teacher, just so she can get me up to at least the basic level of dance in general, just so I at least understood the terminology they would throw at you in the audition room. And then I had this whole choreography that I had to worry about. So let's start track over to what I did every weekend. I did, went to like this fun performing arts like Saturday school and it's called Stagecoach. And the Stagecoach I went to didn't necessarily train you to audition for performing arts schools. I remember in one of the dance things that we had to do was we had to choreograph this piece of dance ourselves and obviously all of us who weren't dancers were like okay let's do that. And so we choreographed this dance number, like just this, this, this really short dance movement. It was more movement than dance. And so I brought this choreography over to my dance teacher and I said, oh, can we develop this a bit more? And she helped me develop this choreography just to just to move it around the space because literally I'll just be standing still. And so I had all this prepared for the dance side of the audition. I actually mentioned Stagecoach because the singing teacher that I was going to back then was the principal of Stagecoach. And you guys actually may know his name. He's called David Hunter, the West End star. He was actually my singing teacher in 2016 and he would literally just he would come over to our house and we'll just jam out on his guitar. Then I had this audition coming up and I said, do you mind helping me prepare for my audition? And so he helped me choose the songs and he introduced me to this song called With You from Ghost the Musical. Maybe some of you are familiar with the song, maybe you aren't, because I actually wasn't familiar at all with this song. But when I listened to it, oh my goodness, it is such a beautiful song. It's so beautiful to just act through. I think that's what really drew me into it because loads of teachers tell you this, it doesn't matter how amazing your voice is. If you can't act through the song, if you can't perform the song, and if you're like just dead on the surface, it's just like, there's no point. You have to be able to perform this song. You have to be able to act through the song. And then my second song choice was Titanium by David Guetta. It was more of a stripped 
down version of Titanium and so those were the two songs I chose. So the acting side of this audition, the two monologues that I chose, I decided to do, I can't actually remember the name of one of the monologues. I'll look it up and if I find the name, I'll link it in the description below or what monologue I performed. But the monologue was like a really, really angsty teen dark monologue. Just really, just really angsty. It was perfect for me because I was 15 turning 16 when I was learning this. I'm like at the epitome of angsty teen acting. And so I had this monologue, this really dark monologue. And then I had Miss Trunchbull. Yeah, I did Miss Trunchbull. But it was great because there were two really different characters. And obviously I am no Miss Trunchbull here. Look at me, I'm like half her height. I'm more the size of Matilda than anyone else. And so we just really wanted to create this really physical character and have this really dark monologue as well. And so those two really are different. And my mum actually really helped me with the, the teen angst monologue. Just really helped dissect the monologue with me. And then my sister, helped me so much with Miss Trunchbull and she's actually training to be a drama teacher. Technically, I'm her first student and so she really helped me develop this character, really physicalize my version of Miss Trunchbull. I had all this help behind me. I couldn't, I couldn't have got into Conti without all these people backing me, helping me, basically preparing me for the audition. If I didn't have them, I wouldn't be at Conti. So I absolutely thank each and every one of them for their help. And so now it's time for the audition day. I remember this. So leading up to the audition, I was so ill. You can't even imagine how ill I was. And I just remember days before, I couldn't sing, could barely speak. I was coughing so much. I just remember thinking like, how, how am I going to do this? So anyway, the day comes and my mum and I travel down to London and we get to the Barbican because that's where Conti is. We got it up on Google Maps and we're like looking for this building. Can we literally walk past it? We have to backtrack because I'm not gonna lie, Conti looks like an office block. It literally Literally looks like an office block and that's why we walked past it. It just looked very unsuspecting this building. You don't realise that there's been amazing actors and actresses and performers who have walked through these doors. You just don't realise it. It just literally looks like an office block but there's a lot of history there. Got my audition number and so how they did the audition, they put you in two groups and one group does the singing and acting side of the audition and the other group does the dance call first. My group did the dancing. I think it actually worked out in my favour because I think I would rather do the dancing first over the singing and acting so I could then really concentrate on that. So we did two dance like classes. So one was ballet and the other one was jazz. And I remember in the ballet audition, I had a coughing fit. I was just like in the corner coughing my guts out. So that happened and then um, the jazz, I got through the jazz. Then it was for the solo and they, I, they actually only asked me to do one dance solo so that sort of worked in my favour because I only prepared one dance solo. I had this whole, not excuse, this whole reason why I only prepared one dance solo. But since they only asked for one dance solo, I was like, well, oh, I don't have to say that. And so I did my dance. I think it went well because I can't remember anything bad that happened. And then we had lunch and then, you know, that awkward small talk when you're talking to the fellow auditionees. Then it was time for the um, acting and singing audition and you do it at the same time. But we do it in register order. And since my name is Toma and it starts with a T, I had to wait till the very, basically the very end of the audition. And so you're hearing, you're hearing everyone singing like amazingly, hearing them belting and everything. And you're just, you know, you're just drinking in on yourself going, oh no, oh no, oh no. So the person before me goes in and I'm outside the door, you know, waiting to go in after her. And then I, I just remember this moment, hearing the first note of her musical theatre song. And it was the same song as me. It was with you from Ghost the Musical. And I literally remember just my heart just dropping. And I was like, oh no, 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 no. I just thought to myself, you're just gonna have to do it better than her. They don't know what song choice you have chosen, but you do. She has literally just sung that song. And then it's my turn, and they're gonna be comparing us a lot. And I think we were the same age as well. But I think I remember, I remember this. She messed up, and literally just the relief was washed down on me. I was like, oh my goodness. And it wasn't like I was wishing her to mess up. No, no way. But it's competition, and when you hear someone mess up, and you know she's your competition to get into the school, you just have a little weight lifted off your shoulder. 
longer. And then all I had to worry about was myself not messing up that song as well. And don't forget, I still had this coughing fiasco going on at the same time. So my time comes for the audition and I walk in and you know, it's all very nerve wracking. There's the panel then there's yourself and you're just like, you know, that little code, hi, how are ya, blah, 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 blah. And then I do my acting first. So I did my teen angst monologue first, and then I did Miss Trunchbull. My acting was over, and then it was time for my singing audition. So I did Titanium first, and that went really well. That was like a nice, nice warm up for the song with you. I remember I actually had a prop. I had a little prop. I had a t-shirt, because in the song she mentions a shirt. We thought it would be a good idea just for me just to have like a little pot, just like one shirt. It wasn't like I had the turntable and the pottery. No, it wasn't like that. It was just one little pot just to help me with my performance. So I started the performance and I was going really well. And I remember two days before this audition, I didn't even have a voice. I couldn't speak. I could barely sing as well. But I feel like my body just forgot that it was ill during my time in that audition room because I think I was just so present in the audition room, so present in my performance that my body forgot that it was ill and, and I just performed and I think that's another thing just to not think about anything else apart from being in that moment being in the audition room being in the scene or being in the song and performing it because if I was worrying about my voice if I worried that I wasn't going to hit the note I wouldn't have hit the note but since I was just so in the moment of the song I didn't cough and I hit the note so that's what I'm trying to tell you be present in the moment sometimes you only have one shot at this audition if you're not present it shows but if you're present and if you're in the moment then it will just all fall into place and so after the audition you have an interview there's not much I can actually say about preparing for an interview in this instance you don't really know what questions they're gonna ask you what I would say is just really show your passion for the industry show that you're going to work hard at the school that you're gonna push yourself push yourself to be the best version as you can and I remember her last question was if I had any questions for her and I remember asking how many people People are auditioning for Italia Conti this year. Me thinking, oh, it's only going to be, I don't know, 500. 4,000 people auditioned that year. And I remember just thinking, what? I had no idea about the reputation that Italia Conti has. It's one of the top performing arts schools in the UK. And obviously, Miss Ignorant over here didn't realise that. And actually, I think that helped me in the audition because I didn't have that weight on my shoulders of thinking, oh my, this is Italia Conti, this is so prestigious. I didn't have that weight because I didn't know. And so I think maybe it sort of helped in my case because what's the saying, ignorance is bliss. I didn't know the reputation of Italia Conti and how prestigious it is as a performing arts school, but now I know and now I'm like, oh. How did I get into this school? And so yes, that's my whole audition story of how I auditioned for Italia Conti and how I was fortunate enough to be offered a place on the course. But I was actually offered a place on the one year intensive course because I needed to work on my dancing. After that, you have to audition again. And then I was fortunate enough to be put onto the second year so I didn't have to retake the first year. And so that's my whole audition for Italia Conti. And if you are a person who is auditioning for a performing arts school, do leave a comment down below if you have any other questions for me. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.